now we're going to be looking at adjustments. Uh, at the end of the year, uh, we have to look at our accounts and make sure that they have the right balances so that when we prepare our financial statements, we have the correct numbers in our financial statements. So a common practice is to do an appropriate, adju appropriate adjustments at the end of the year to make sure that those accounts do have the right balance. There are four types of adjustments that we're going to look at. We have our prepaid adjustments, our unearned revenue adjustments, our accrued expenses, and our accrued revenues. Okay, we're going to have different videos for each one of these because they're kind of complicated. You're going to have to spend a lot of time making sure that you understand how this process works. And you have to have a really good understanding of the different types of accounts. Assets, liabilities, revenues and expenses. And you have to understand your debits and credits really good. So make sure that if you're having a little bit of trouble with those things, that you go back to these previous videos and back to your textbook to make sure that you understand these concepts and how they work. Because you cannot do adjustments unless you understand the accounts and your debits and credits. So let's get started first with prepaids. Prepaid is a necessary adjustment that we need to make at the end of the year. Um, a common prepaid, in the previous video we talked about the insurance policy, and that's a common prepaid. Okay, so what often happens, our example was that on December 1st, we paid $1,800 for this insurance policy. So let's write this down, 12-1, and I'm just going to put X-1, meaning for the first year. And what happened was, we paid $1,800 for this insurance policy. So what we do is we debit um, an account called prepaid insurance for $1,800. This account is an asset. Prepaid insurance, or sometimes you might call it prepaid insurance expense, is an asset. And then we paid, we said $1,800, so we have to reduce the cash for that amount. Okay? This is the original entry. This is not the adjustment. Now what happens is at year end, 1231 X1, we've used up part of this insurance policy. On our books, we have as an asset a prepaid insurance policy for $1,800. And that's as good for 18 months, or $100 per month. You take the $1,800 divided by 18 months. Well, now, it's December 31st. We've used up one month of this. So we really shouldn't have in our books at $1,800 anymore. It should be in our books at $1,700. Because we've used up part of this insurance policy. We need to expense part of this insurance policy. So what we're going to do is we're going to debit insurance expense, $100, and then credit to reduce our prepaid insurance account. Okay, So we need to reduce this by 100, so we're going to credit it. So this debit less this credit will give us the $1,700 that we need. Now, for the next year, uh, the year goes along, and now all of a sudden it's December 31st again, but the next year, so year two, okay? Our prepaid insurance account has 1,800 less than 100. It has a $1,700 balance. Well, we've had the insurance policy for a full year again, for, another, for a full year, and we need to reduce it by that year. So remember, it was an $1,800 policy for 18 months, or $100 per month. Well, we used up 12 months in the next year. So now we're gonna have to recognize the insurance expense, I'm going to abbreviate this, it's the same account though that we used at the end of last year for $1,200. And then we need to reduce our prepaid insurance for the $1,200. Now uh, we have to adjust this again for the last year. I'm not going to, I'm not going to write this adjustment down, but we have to do an adjustment for next year, and it's an $1,800 policy, and we've used that $1,300, so it's the last $500. So sometime in year three, let me just, let's write this down. Sometime in year three, we're gonna use up the remaining part, so we have insurance expense of $500, and prepaid insurance 500. So if we're looking at a T account, here's our prepaid insurance. We originally put $1,800 into it, right? And now we're reducing it 100. This is in year X1. In year X2, we reduced it by 
1,200, and then in year three, the remaining 500, and now it's got a zero balance. And then we're probably gonna purchase another insurance policy. Okay, and then we start this process all over again with our new insurance policy. Maybe it's a one-year policy, maybe it's a two-year policy, whatever it is, we need to recognize it as prepaid insurance and then expense it over the life of the insurance policy. It makes sense, just gotta think about it and make sure that it's making sense in your brain. Okay, so that's an example of prepay. So things that we, we prepay are supplies, um, insurance policies, sometimes we prepay our rent expense. We might owe six months or a, a year's worth of rent expense up front. Okay, so all these would work in a similar manner. We just did the example of insurance. Okay, all right, good luck.